set your virtual fence just on an app on your phone and then as, as the cow goes near the boundary of the virtual fence it, it starts emitting a, a noise and um, kind of plays a wee tune, not a tune but plays an audible noise and as they get nearer the, the virtual fence it gets a more, the noise gets kind of more intense and then if, if they still keep going towards the fence it gives them a, a wee pulse. Once they get the hang of it, it takes them a day or, day or two. You generally just put them in a field and maybe set half of it boundary across. We do a bit of kind of conservation grazing for um, the RSPB and they don't. They like to graze bits of ground for a year or two um, and then move on to another bit. So and a lot of it's kind of in woods and things, so the, the infrastructure kind of expensive for them. So, so this is an alternative. Um, the bits in between... Um, the high ground and the, the in-by ground, that's the bit that the cattle, you know, they can go into bracken bits and really churn it up and yeah. it just breaks up, makes it a more diverse um, landscape, I suppose, for for all the birds and other native ma mammals. And, um, yeah, it just helps, helps to break up bits of ground. And then at the moment, We've got some cows and calves out and out in the hill ground. Our hill's not fenced, and cows could wander for miles. So, um, and not only that, we can kind of focus them in areas. The better at the moment they've got calves, so you know they need to be on the better bits of hill. So, days like this where the mists right down, clouds down low, um, I wouldn't even attempt to find them if it wasn't for the collars. Whereas today we just drove drove along in the mist and all of a sudden there the cows were so it was um so it was good that way.